Well, school cafeteria food for many, it brings back memories of that greasy pizza, the hard chicken nuggets, or whatever that stuff was. <laughs> well, not anymore. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemon Yo reports Barrington High School is now operating a new lunch program where more kids are buying rather than packing their food. Honestly, like when you think of lunch food, you're like, ew, but. It kind of made me change my mind. This year, District 220 School Board decided to drop the National School Lunch Program at the high school level. The reason? And lettuce, please. There wasn't enough variety, and the guidelines were just too limited. There's a deli bar, a taco stand. All the food is really healthy. It tastes really good. Though the school is no longer getting reimbursements from the state and federal government, they do get a percentage of total sales from their new vendor, Quest. And more kids buying means more money for the school. The money must be used to improve the food services program. Guaranteed at about 80 to 85 percent of all products are made from scratch. We're locally sourcing a ton of products. They also have pizza and that's already pre-made so you can just go and grab yourself a slice if you're um, in a rush or um, salad bar is really great if you're feeling healthy. I like uh, the build your own pasta because you know I like the carbs. The garlic bread, amazing. We would have you know, literally delivery drivers lined up during our lunch hours. It's a pretty good indication that, that we weren't offering food that students would eat here. It also became a security problem with food delivery drivers entering the school. Now that's not allowed with a new food program in place. Good, how are you? The sushi and this uh, protein. That's right. There's so even sushi on Mondays. Her bill? seven dollars and 45 cents it's a little on the pricey side but i think it, it's worth it for the food quality overall yeah it's a little pricey for a school lunch and susan tells us the improvements just keep coming the newest addition is snack bar open before and during after school which serves coffee snacks and smoothies i cannot relate i cannot at all <laughs> right. we did some digging and learned that barrington is onto a trend here from 2014 to 2019 nearly a million students in the u.s have come off the national school lunch program for some though they just don't have these many options sometimes mm -hmm. it's just you eat what you get and you're grateful for that. There's a lot of programs. Most important thing, the students, the kids are getting fed healthy, nutritious meals. Yes. But sushi in high school? Woo. I remember the what? old square cardboard pizza in the corn. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I got like, like the boat pizza, they called it. Yeah. Like it's cheese on a bread. <laughs>